<laughs> maybe there's a business here. And it turned out there was. Okay, so then so, that was kind of the start of Geology Adventures? It was. Yeah, okay. that's where the name came from. It just kind of worked out of that. And at this point, uh, we go to mostly Spain at this point. I used to go okay. to South Africa. We still go to Australia occasionally. Yep. But, uh, you know, wherever there's rocks, we'll go. Hey, if you've got the people and they want to go, you yeah, can do your thing. It. And, yeah. you know, Bob being a geologist by training, he knows how to look at things and explain it. Uh, where the rest of us are just crystal diggers, you know. <laughs> got that right. So, all right, so through the 80s, the geology adventures, now you're just kind of focusing on that. You're doing rock candy. Yeah. Rock is that candy, part of the geology but, adventures, oh, or yes. you're just doing yeah. rock candy? No, that's part of Everything I do is part of geology adventures. Okay. So. I mean, this is now tourist. Spruce LLC, so yeah. it has nothing to do with geology adventures. Yeah. yeah. Well, it makes sense now that you've got the partners. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. So yeah, then they so come up and work, or they get like so many weeks a year, or? They get so many days a year. Oh, okay. So uh, this year it was four days a year. It varies between four and seven, depending on how big the bench is that like we're working. And so you shoot it for them, or? Yeah. Oh, wow. So they do that exactly what we've done for years, you know. We shoot before they get there. They can collect anything they you want. You clean out all the good stuff? Oh, and then of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> put muck back in the pocket? <laughs> nah, they wouldn't put up with that. Nah, they they know my old tricks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, the, so we just had, uh, we had my granddaughter, Lily, and her dad here the last two days. Okay. And then one of the other partners, Brendan, was here um, for those two days plus, what, three days before, Dave? How long were those guys up here? Two. They showed up um, Friday. Okay. So, anyway, the members come up and we say, hey, we'll have open bugs for you. Okay. And uh, come play. Wow. Well, yeah. And well, that makes it work. Yeah. So, uh, they yeah. have fun. They take home good things. If they take home things that are too good, then they owe the LLC some money. So okay, it's, so that way, the group, yeah, right. that way the group yeah. uh, gets compensated. Yeah. When we started out, the first two years, we said, hey, you can keep anything you want. Oh. But then we were all ponying in money to keep it running. And we went, you know, this is silly. Yeah. Why, why have one person come up and take the bulk of the stuff for that year? They happen to hit this right. pocket yeah, or whatever. Yeah, just happened to be and, there for yeah. the right pocket the right day, so... Okay, interesting yeah, so concept out here uh, in the mineral world. You know, for you can find, you can take home two grand worth of stuff a year. Okay. And uh, everybody seems happy with that. And we have we have had people find things that uh, members that uh, they have kept anywhere from probably five thousand to thirty-five thousand. Okay. So got into some, a nice hole. With some them. very nice things that come out. Well, Which, where that. else can you be first in line? Yeah, absolutely. Right. You know, to, and that's the collect. problem with today's mineral yeah. world is yeah. um, it's the big boys control right. it. Yep. It's, yeah. yep. Yep. The stuff that used to be hidden in the bathroom is not even brought to the right. bathroom yeah. anymore yeah, in right. the hotels, yeah. you know, right. the mineral yeah. hotels. So, yeah. no, it's yeah, different. The market has totally changed. It's, it has. It, it just confounds me. I mean, at this point, I don't know how to price my own damn rocks. But you can't price them too high, is the crazy thing. I mean, you can price yeah. them so high they don't sell, but... But hey, know, we're but, rock guys. We, yeah, wanna, right. we, we can't eat them. So yeah, we've right. got to keep them moving. It's, it's definitely a different market in the last 20 years, how oh, things have changed yeah. so drastically. Yep. And, and so, you know, this scale of operation can run because we have a constant supply. We don't always have a constant supply of $30,000 rocks, but right. we have a pretty constant supply of $1,000 rocks. And sure. So, you know... So yeah, yeah, once everybody gets their feed uh, for a personal item, right. then yeah. the rest gets sold, and yeah. like you yeah. said, it, it continues. And how many you know quartz plates with a little pyrite on it do you really need? So, yeah. well, quite a few if you're somebody that collects that type. So yeah. you know, that's fortunately, what you're, yeah, yeah, that's what you're looking for. But those are yeah. the tough ones to get, right? They are. Yeah. I mean, because yeah. you're the speaking pristine of the, stuff, you know. Yeah. yeah. The really good it's sharp pyrite good cubes from with on the quartz are. Right. Because yeah. like you were telling us earlier, most of the pockets have the pyrite that's fractured up, yep. very iron stained. Yep. Uh, well, so this one, look, look at this one. This one was, I think this was open last week, right, Dave? Yeah. And I did some work yesterday with, a, with a, uh, an angle grinder and a diamond blade. To, and of course, if I were opening this fresh, I would not be just throwing stuff yeah. over there. This be, is stuff that fell in. I'd be through. looking at every little piece, <laughs> yes. But I, we already know what's in here, and there's He's one put some piece back, that... Protect the piece. 